Hey, 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 guys, Sneaky Ace, AR5 here, and today I'm here, well, I'm back from a really long break, and actually right now I'm sick, you can probably hear that in my voice, or probably not, but anyways, hey, guys, I'm back from a really long break, and I actually have a locomotive review today. Yeah, I'm in my new house, I got uh, a table set up with all the N-scale stuff, and then I got my HO scale layout down there, whoa, major voice crack, I got my HO scale, scale stuff down there, and let's get ready. So today I have to review to you guys today the HO Scale Broadway Limited E9 from the Union Pacific Railway. I actually got this a while back. Let's get the box. We got Broadway Limited Paragon 2 Series on the front. Uh, the Pioneers and Sound Equipped HO Scale Locomotives. And then we got Dual Mode, dual mode Sound and Operation for DC and DCC. Let's go to the side of the box. The logo and where their company is. Down here, same stuff. Got a picture of the locomotive. It says E8, but it's not really an E8. It's not. There's nothing on the bottom. Here. So let's uh let's get the loco out of the package. So first when you get in the package, you got a come on camera focus. You got an exploded parts diagram. So if you lose any parts in the locomotive or you need to replace them, got that with you. Oh crap. I don't know what this is, but this is a $5,000 worth of Broadway Limited model trains. And it will be rewarded to the one lucky BLI, BLI Facebook fan. And I, I don't know what that is. I tried doing it, but I, I, I don't know how it works. This, um... This is a this is the warranty a warranty card. It's a two year actually if you want it to be, and you could uh, send it to them. And then here we got the operation manual. It's DC users and DCC users, so here you can buy that thing that they have for the um, DC sound. Yeah, the, what the controls are. And here's the controls, the sounds for it. So, um, I already know what most of the sounds are. I'm going to be using a Backman DCC controller. I know it's a crappy controller, so I can only control 10 sounds. I mean, only, I can only control up to, like, 8 sounds, because an F9 doesn't even do anything. But, yeah, it just, uh, goes over the CV value, and, uh, yeah. And it tells you, um, what each sound does. So that's pretty neat. So let's uh, let's get to the locomotive herself or itself. Uh, here she is. I've already opened her before and I've already ran her, but um, I'm gonna set you guys down to the side so you guys don't struggle or watch me struggle taking her out of the package. All right. So here she is, and wow, she is one beautiful locomotive. I have always actually. Really liked the E9. I always thought it was a really nice locomotive. I actually like the E6 better because I like the slanted uh, nose there. But the E9, it also is a really great locomotive. So it's um, also good detail. So we got the um, horn here on the top with all the radiator fans here. <clears throat> and we got the doors here with uh, in-cab figurines. We got the locomotive number with E9 written on the side. Gotta let the camera focus. Come on. There we go. We got E9 written on the side. We got the fuel tank. God damn this camera. Let's focus on the background. Damn it. Damn it all. Alright. Stupid ass camera. Wonderful. And then we got the Union Pacific logo on the front with lighting number boards, and then the ditch light and the normal light. And I actually kind of lost the lens to that, but don't worry, I can replace that. And we got on the side, we got Union Pacific written on the side with the little windows and the doors and the step ladders. Alright, turn to the back. We got the vacuuming tubes and the door, which actually is sprung. We also got the 
magnetic knuckle couples with the coupler cut lever. And same here on the front with removing um, snow plow so you could uh, put one on without the coupler. And then when we turn to the side, we got the same stuff. So, yeah, it's a really nice locomotive. It's got lots of detail. So we're going to put it on the tracks and we're going to listen to our sound. <coughs> so let's, uh, I'm actually going to take you down here to the layout. I know it's kind of dark. We got um, some more locomotives down here. I got a GP38-2. I got my ugly F7 that I kind of painted it. I'm going to refix that. I got some new freight cars. Don't mind the little green wire there. I got some Atlas check, and I know it's not safe to be running on the ground, but who cares? And I got a station and some two Union Pacific passenger cars to go with the locomotive. So I'm going to get her put here on the track for a second. So just sit there and stare at my carpet. Damn it, get on the fucking track. Sorry for my language. Damn it. There we go. Alright, she's on the track. Good. So let me just get my stuff all set up. So you just do that. Let's lay you on the ground. So I'm going to plug in my controller. Ah. Alright, so here is the locomotive. Let's turn on the DCC controller and let's listen to where it sounds. So as you see when you turn on the controller, uh, she already starts to light up, so press the function button and I'm going to press 10, turn off the light, so I'm going to turn off the dish light, I'm going to press 6 to start the sound. Quite a mess looking with those, isn't she? So then we're gonna go through the sounds. One is the bell. Two is the horn. And we're gonna continue that with a grade crossing. Now on the controller, there's no um, there's no short horn, so you have to press two real okay. quick. Number three is the coupler clank. And number four is the uh, dynamic brake and gas release. Five is send your up. And then six is the rev down. Alright, and then seven is the ditch light. Alright. Eight uh, mutes the sound. Nine is supposed to be the start up and the start down, but it doesn't do anything. And ten is the normal light. So let's get her done. Forward. She's very nice at slow running too. I'm actually gonna get her to go couple up to the passenger cars back here.
turn it off. Wow, what an amazing locomotive. I gotta say, um, I gotta say, you guys should purchase this locomotive. It's a really lovely locomotive with, <coughs> excuse me, it's really good DCC sound and really good attention to detail. It's a really nice locomotive. I love it and I'm so glad I bought it. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys later for more and goodbye.